If you've been put off adding AI into your SaaS because you thought it would involve pre-training, post-training models, and maybe even learning Python, then I've got good news for you. It's actually a lot simpler than you might imagine. And I know about this because I've literally just published a massive new feature for one of my SaaS products, which is basically a YouTube idea brainstorming tool where I'm using AI to come up with title ideas, come up with thumbnail ideas and present them to the user to pick their favorite. And before I started doing this, I had in my mind that AI was this big complicated thing. And to be honest, I'd put off using it in any of my products because I just thought it was going to be too difficult. And when I found out how easy it was, I felt a bit stupid, to be honest, because I wish I'd started using it sooner. So let me tell you exactly what process I've used. I've got a, an app that I'm building using Next.js and React front-end technologies and I'm putting it all onto AWS and I've got these serverless functions running in the background. Basically everything's in AWS so when I had this idea for a, a YouTube brainstorming assistant naturally I thought I had to use AI. I basically went to ChatGPT and asked it what would be the best option given the technologies I'm already using and given the idea, the outcome of the idea. When I asked that question to ChatGPT, it basically told me that there's a service called AWS Bedrock. It's part of AWS, never heard of it before, but as soon as I started looking into it, I pretty much learned that I had access to over a hundred different AI models. And all I had to do was call an API from my backend serverless function with a prompt. So just like how you would interact with ChatGPT, and if you want to get the best outcome, you need to create a rich prompt that is going to maybe give some examples of what you're looking for, give some constraints around how it should return the data. Building AI into your app is essentially just a process of coming up with a prompt that's going to give you the results that you want. Yeah, it's basically string manipulation. So in my app, I have a serverless function where I have the triple backticks and then I'm just printing out a string and I'm dynamically adding some things here and there. And this is how the overall prompt looks. And then I'm pumping it into an API call where I call this model Anthropic Sonnet version four. I don't really know what that means, but the results seem to be decent. That's basically all it is. And if you think about how you would have implemented some functionality like this before AI, well, you wouldn't have been able to do it. And now that we can use AI, we can tap into the natural language ability. And in my case, I'm doing that to brainstorm different ideas for titles and using natural language is one thing that these models are very good at. So you can think about ways that you could use this in your app. And I know you can do natural language processing, you can also do image processing. I would love to be able to generate a thumbnail with AI. But I'm telling you, once I figured out that AI is just a, an API call, just the same as writing data to a database or adding a file to an S3 bucket, it's just an API call like any other AWS service. And when I realized that, well, things became a lot easier. And in the last day, I've published this new version of my app and I've started to use it myself to brainstorm alternatives for YouTube video titles and thumbnails and it's all backed by AI so now I can be one of the cool kids and say hey my SaaS has got AI inside. But I think the main takeaway for me is whenever I think something's difficult it always tends to be easier in reality and that's definitely the case for this AI thing. And I'm really excited now that I've got the basics down to see what I can come up with, like different ways that I can apply AI into SaaS products that I already have or apps that I'm gonna build in the future. I think it's pretty exciting. And I know there's a lot of buzz with people saying that they've got all these AI features in their apps. And hopefully that's gonna die off and it will just be we've got these cool features in our apps. We don't even need to mention the fact that it's AI because people like you and people like me will be able to incorporate it into our apps really easily using AWS or Google Cloud Platform or other cloud providers. So if you've been on the fence thinking, hey, maybe I should try out something to do with AI, I recommend you just 
pick the smallest problem that you could solve, which for me was generating a single YouTube title from an idea prompt. And when you can just create a small API that you can call to return you that response, you'll realize that it's not that complicated and then the sky's the limit, my friend. So go forth, use your crazy programming skills and use the crazy power of AI to do some funky things in the world. And I'll see you in the next one.